What's up guys? We're actually watching the opening ceremonies to Olympics, but tomorrow we're gonna be heading up to Orlando, which is about a three hour drive. And my fiance and I, we've, we've been working hard, so we feel like we need a little mini vacation. Um, instead of flying somewhere, we're just gonna be taking a little road trip up there. But it's a basically a three hour drive. And one of the topics I wanted to talk to you guys about is the egregious gas prices. And that's something that's been bothering a lot of people because right now to fill up with gas tank, I just filled up today and I was about 97 uh, miles to empty. It was about 40 bucks. So unfortunately, gas prices are probably gonna only skyrocket from here. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys how you guys can get paid uh, to gas up. And I'm not a bullshitter and if you guys have been watching this channel for uh, quite a bit, you guys know I'm really transparent. This is something I've been using for the past couple of years and no way I'm sponsored by this uh, company or app. Um, it's just for me to show with you guys and actually share with you guys um, ways to kind of like save money. So and tomorrow we're going to deep dive into that. I'm sure when I get up there, I'm going to have to gas up. It's a three hour drive. And if you guys own F80 M3, it's not really that good on gas, especially when you modify it. So on that note, I got to finish up packing up and got to get packed for ready for tomorrow and for this weekend. But I'll check you guys tomorrow. So have a good night. As you can see, there's the green awnings behind there, and we were at Starbucks. That's the first order of business. It's early, not too early, it's like seven o'clock, but um, what we're gonna be doing is get into Starbucks, and then we're gonna be on the road. Should be a clear, smooth ride, three hours up to Orlando, and then from there, we'll, we'll be, uh, you know, having a good time. All right, so we just picked up some Starbucks. I ordered a dragon drink, but this is definitely not it. It's all the greens minus a few things so I guess they messed up on that but um it still tastes good it's full of sugar so here we can't complain about that but right now it looks like it's gonna be 207 miles um, probably about three hours and maybe 15 minutes to get there but we'll see if we can kind of cut that down a little bit by being safe but throughout this video I'm gonna take you guys along my little mini vacation but I do want to talk to you guys throughout the video about uh, Get Upside. It's a really good app that I've been using. Oh, well, my fiance and a couple of my other family members. And basically, it's a way for you guys to save money. And the way to think about it too, every time you gas up, which I'll explain later, it's a couple cents here and there, not a big deal. But in reality, if you think about it like this, you start now until December, you could buy yourself a Christmas gift or a holiday gift, whatever holiday you celebrate. And that's something that you can kind of do too. But um, I'll check you guys on the next clip. Enjoy the footage. I know this type of style of video is a little bit different. We're not doing modifications. But hopefully I'll show you guys a little bit more about the day in the life. I know a few other people have mentioned, hey, do a video about day in the life or do a video about fitness. I, I may not do that now. Um, if I see a demand in that, I may do that later. So I do want to reference my last video. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up on top and also in the description. But in the last video, we basically installed the Mazel Man uh, thermostat for this vehicle basically replace the OEM one and it does a big justice so we've been driving for about an hour and 15 maybe hour and a half almost and the temperature is normally supposed to be I would say about two to about I would say maybe a bar below the 250 mark but check this out look at the temperature now and and look at your F80 or F8X platform see where it's at normally so normally it's just below the 250 bar and it settles around there but look at it now it's one full bar below the normal operating temperature but hopefully all this information I'm giving you guys reference uh, get upside the thermostat gives you guys some value if you guys like this video and the information I'm giving you guys hit the thumbs up it's free for you guys and it also is very beneficial for my small channel my small channel is at 4500 almost 
So I've been very thankful for you guys supporting this channel since day one. And everybody leaving very positive comments and feedback. I appreciate it. So we're not too far from the hotel. I'm excited. I'm going to be uh, relaxing. It's going to be a little mini vacation for my fiance and I. And like I told you guys yesterday, I think we really deserve it. We've been so closed in on not being able to travel because, you know, currently the situation going on in the world, a lot of places that we do want to go to, unfortunately we can't travel to, like Japan. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of like day in the life video. But I'm also giving you guys some valid information. But uh, we'll see you guys at the hotel or in Orlando. All right, guys, we're at Disney World. Not really. We're not really here for that. We're here for Disney Springs, and this is really more for like adult type activities, um, restaurants, shopping. You know, have a couple drinks here and there. We're we're gonna be lounging around the pool, but um, that's one of the most most famous signs for Orlando. For all you tourists out there coming to visit, check it out. As you can see, it's pretty well kept out here. This is really towards, geared towards the tourists. Um, we're pretty much about pulling up to our hotel. And hun, which hotel we're staying at? Hilton? Yes, the Hilton. Turn right here, Lake Buena Vista Drive. All right, so we are at the hotel, Hilton, like you saw. I got the other couple right there in their car. Not a BMW, but they're still cool peoples anyway. But what we're gonna do is enjoy the pool area, have a good time. We can't check in until four o'clock. Unfortunately, we checked in. We actually requested early check-in, but that's not gonna happen because they're so busy. But um, we're gonna get set up and enjoy the pool. So we'll check in with you guys when we actually get into the room and go a little bit more into that. All right, so update. We just enjoyed the pool. So originally you can't check in until I would say about four o'clock, but since we're a uh, Hilton gold honor status, we're allowed to check in a little bit earlier. So we checked in around like 1.30, not too early compared to the normal check-in time, but went to the pool, got a little color, had a couple drinks, as you can see. Um, when I drink, I get a little bit red and that's just the Asian flush, but um, I'll show you guys the room real quick. Walking in, nice king size bed. You got a nice area where you know my girls are probably gonna do her makeup and stuff. Um, looks like a comfortable couch. The bathroom. Just took a quick shower. And then the view is nice. So it's a nice view. We got overlooking like this pond area here. Um, the pool that we were at, we're actually down over there. So pretty interesting. So so far it's been a relaxing day. Definitely a little bit tired from the early morning drive. Um, game plan now is we're gonna basically um, go out to Disney Springs area, walk around. Uh, the girls want to go shopping. Um, we're here with another couple, and as you saw earlier, he doesn't drive a BMW. He drives a Dodge Charger. Don't worry, he doesn't drift around and crash into people. He's cool, so he doesn't do that stuff. Um, but we're gonna be having a good time, having some food. Maybe I'll uh, record some of my phone and I'll implement it into the video. But we're definitely gonna deep dive into uh, the Get Upside app. But I'm exhausted. But um, let me know if you guys like this type of video where you know I'm taking you guys along my day or even like a, a little weekend getaway. 
uh, make you guys feel like you guys are with us. This is crazy. This place has ice cream at the hotel. <laughs> Bottles of wine. That's not crazy. Hotels have this stuff. Nah, she's crazy. I don't know what she's talking about. No. I don't know what she's talking about. But um, we just ordered some coffee. Need some coffee for to wake ourselves up. We're kind of tired. I'm tired. She's tired. Yeah, we're gonna get coffee, go shopping, eat food. So a lot of fun stuff. Eat some more. All right, guys, it's been a long day. Just got back from uh, shopping at Downtown Disney. Um, we were originally supposed to be going to Boathouse. It's a restaurant, I would say. It's more like a seafood type of restaurant. Cool vibe to it. But anywhere you went today, anywhere on Disney Springs, if you didn't have reservations months ago, you're not getting in today unless you want to sit outside. So basically, we went to a restaurant called Edison, and we ended up sitting outside, unfortunately, because we were, at that point, there was really nowhere else to go. Um, would I recommend the restaurant? Probably not. It's not the best restaurant here in Disney Springs. But um, long story short, the food was cold and the freaking waitress dropped soda all over my freaking shoes. So I guess she dropped it and it went through the table and it splashed all my shoes and pants. So definitely wasn't a good time. Um, other than that, I'm really tired. It's about 10 o'clock. We're going to basically hang out with the other couple here, maybe have a couple of White Claws, talk BS, and then tomorrow we're gonna have brunch and then head back south to uh, South Florida. So I'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning and then we'll continue with the video from there. And I'll deep dive definitely into uh, the Get Upside app, it's something that you guys definitely wanna look into. What a weekend, what a weekend. It's been a, such a good weekend with my fiance and um, our other uh, friends. Uh, they're actually heading south now. What you guys been clicking on this video for is basically uh, about the app, the Get Upside app, and some of the benefits and some of the pros and cons about it. If you guys drive a lot for a living, whether it's your job um, or even just in general, this is an app that's very beneficial and it doesn't cost you anything uh, to use this app. It's very beneficial in a way where uh, you're able to save money aside while filling up. And the way to look about it too is you're stealing money away from the gas stations itself. Um, technically you're not because these gas stations participate with this app, GetUpside. Um, it gives people an incentive to go to their gas station where they can increase in sales. Um, increase in sales, whether it's people going inside to pick up like a drink or, you know, to buy gallons of gas. So right now we're on our way to a Shell gas station, which we're stuck in traffic because I guess there's an accident here. But it's about another, what, two miles away, a mile and a half. And we're going to a Shell gas station because I'm very shocked. I'll do a uh, screen overlay of it. It's actually offering me 17 cents back per gallon, and I'm basically like a quarter left. So I'll be filling up pretty decently. And I'll show you guys exactly when we get there, how to use it, uh, how to open it up, and way of uh, kind of like saving money on the side. But some of the things I want to talk about the pros and cons. So let's get into the, some of the pros about using this app. Some of the pros are it's so easy to use ease of use is easy if you could use a regular app Instagram and stuff like that it's easy to use like that um, well, when we get there I'll show you guys exactly how to use it like I said earlier but gassing up is something that you're gonna do regardless right it's gonna do some regardless you're gonna give you incentive to save money on the side where you actually look forward to because you can save all these times you're gassing up into a larger amount where you can either uh, deposit into your bank account or take it as gift cards which I'll show you later in the app and I wish I was affiliated with this uh, company, but obviously I'm not. And like I said earlier, I kind of give you guys the most honest opinions and no gimmicks or anything like that. I don't want to give you guys bad information, but this is something I've been using for quite a while. I've been using it for a couple of years and I've got my friends to use it too. And like I said, it gives you incentive just to do something that you normally do. Some of the cons about it is that not all gas stations participate in it. So if you live in an area where it's very rural and a lot of these gas stations are not used to, uh, this type of platform or they don't want to use this uh, partnership you may not have in your area and it may be an inconvenience for you to drive out of the area to go you know participate or use that app at that gas station 
Um, and one thing too that I noticed, the amount of sense you get back, it varies a lot. So, and up here in uh, central Orlando or central Florida, it's offering me 17 cents, which is a lot actually, compared to where I'm at in South Florida by like Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. Down there, the most I'll get for like 93 octane is about maybe two cents, three cents, four cents at the most. Um, maybe just because it's so much more expensive with taxes and stuff for them, where they can't really give an incentive for me to purchase gas there. But up here in Orlando, 17 cents back per gallon for a Shell, uh, you know, brand gas, which is pretty cool. So, you know, obviously BMW and Shell, they go hand in hand. So that's another reason why we're going out here. We're going a little bit out of our way because we're going to be uh, heading south soon. But I want to show you guys exactly uh, how to use the app and some of the things you could look into while gassing up. So I'll check you guys on the next clip when we get to the gas station. Starbucks Triple Shot Energy. What gives you energy? Starbucks Triple Shot Energy is now available in zero sugar. Grab one inside. Always glove up. No receipt, gotta pick up inside. I guess they were saying there was a paper jam on number one. So you gotta, if you can't get the receipt at the pump, go inside and pick up the receipt. It's essential. So what we'll do is we'll pull up here so we're not holding up the pump. And uh, we'll show you exactly what to do and how to do it. Unfortunately, my phone, I guess it's an Android issue. Maybe I'm not getting service here, but I was unable to uh, open the app here, but my fiance was able to uh, screen record on her phone and to show you guys real quick. So let me pull out of the people's way so I can kind of get that done and show you guys how to upload it. So I'm basically gonna show you guys on her phone since we're gonna be uploading it to her phone. Um, gonna be screen recording it too. So check this out. You're gonna upload it by hitting the button upload and then from there, you're gonna be taking a photo of the receipt. Once you take a picture of the receipt, you're gonna click attach and upload it. So it's simple as that. Go to the gas station, find the one that's nearest to you, um, whether whatever brand you like, whether it's Shell, Chevron, Circle K, whatever it is, go to that one, Click the claim you have. Um, from there, gas up, get the receipt, upload it to that. Pure simple. Um, the only thing that sucked earlier was, as you saw, I wasn't able to upload onto my phone or even use that on my phone because whatever my uh, service wasn't really connecting. Luckily, we were able to do it on my fiance's phone. We were able to get the uh, uploaded and uh, done correctly. But right now, we're heading back south on the Turnpike, Florida Turnpike, and there's been a lot of traffic. This is probably a really busy weekend, which is good because Florida is, um, they thrive on tourists. And actually we're at the tourist location, which is like central Orlando. So if you guys haven't used this app before in the past, definitely check it out. There's an incentive for you guys to use it for your first time. Uh, one of the codes you can use is Ken2932. That's gonna get you another 15 cents back per gallon for your first fill up on top of whatever they're offering you at the time. And like I said, let, let the pennies add up because it's gonna be able to grow into something where you can use it for either dinner, gift cards, uh, give gift cards to your significant others. I'm like, hey, happy Wednesday, here's a gift card for you. But meanwhile, you're saving money on the side they don't know about, so. But on that note, we have a uh, three hour drive back to South Florida and I'm, I'm exhausted. It's been a long weekend. I know my fiance had a good time, I had a good time. And we can't wait to do this again. I'm, coming, I'm going to be coming back up to Orlando in the month of September where we're going to be having an event at Precision Sport Industries and they're located in Oviedo, Florida where we're going to be hosting an event there with Orlando Beamer Club. There's a couple YouTubers that are going to be out there too we're going to be hanging out with so it'll be a, a vlog fest a little bit and then we're going to be staying also in a hotel I think it was the JW Marriott uh, for that weekend because it's going to be a long weekend. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of uh, different type of vlog where I'm showing you guys a little bit day in the life and a little bit more about you know uh, some tips and tricks where you can kind of like save money. And um, besides that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching again and tuning in. 
the amount of support I've been getting from you guys has been overwhelming. I really appreciate it. It definitely motivates me more to keep the quality A1. And if you guys like these type of videos, let me know in the comments. But I'll see you guys on next week's video. Closer to the